Wrapping a gift, it's always a joyful noise. This basket and many other items like it will be up for bid tomorrow at an annual event called Make a Joyful Noise. It's an event that grew out of a tragic loss. New at 5, 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence with how the loss of a little boy turned a mother's grief into action. In the room where her son once slept, Elin Bratton is on a mission. Cutting, wrapping, and downstairs at her home, checking. Just counting all of our supplies. Getting ready for an event called Jamie's Joy. But truth be told. You know, I'd much rather be sending him off to college right now or, you know, savoring my last summer time with him before he left for college. Jamie, seen here just before his sixth birthday, would by now have been 18. One little moment of misjudgment. We first met Elin a few years ago at Rady's Children's Hospital as she spoke about distracted driving. Her sister had picked up her son at school. The last thing that she remembers is reaching for her cell phone. There is a park near her home in City Heights dedicated to Jamie's memory, even a street sign. But on what would have been his 13th birthday. I felt like it was a big birthday and I really wanted to do something special. So every year, a community service-based organization becomes the beneficiary of a Jamie's Joy fundraiser. I never imagined myself in college. This year, it's Reality Changers, a San Diego-based group whose focus is mentoring and sending inner city teenagers to college, something Elin wanted desperately for her son. But this is what I was left with. I was left with a legacy, so I'm going to honor that legacy, even if it's even there's personal pain. Still, she feels her son's presence is everywhere. On the walls of his own room, there's his name and a preschool diploma, and the shoes he left by the front door years ago. Just to recognize that he's still part of our family and part of our home. Bob Lawrence. 10 News. Just heartbreaking. A silent auction for those items that you saw will be held tomorrow evening at Mission Trails Regional Park. Just click on the red TV button on 10news.com for a link to more information.